Listening isn't just a casual event that takes place automatically. Listening is a series of interrelated behaviors that enable us to reach a goal. That goal is to be a more effective receiver of messages. I want you to have the listening skills that will make your social interactions with others more productive, whether that interaction is on the job or in your personal life. In this video series, we've been discussing the work of researcher and author Judy Brownell. She proposes there are six interrelated behaviors that enable people to be effective listeners. This is called the Hurrier Approach. Hearing, understanding, remembering, interpreting, evaluating, and responding. This video will tackle the role of interpreting in the process of listening. Of all the listening behaviors described by Brownell, interpreting is the most complex. Interpreting is impacted by motivation, empathy, and a person's ability to understand nonverbal messages. Let's examine the role these three have on being able to interpret the messages which we are listening to. The first area to examine in discussing interpreting is motivation. In evaluating how effective you are at listening, it's valuable to ask if you really want to understand others. Now, as harsh as that statement sounds, the reality is that it's possible to approach listening from the standpoint of, if others want me to understand them, it's their responsibility to express themselves clearly. We might be frustrated that our partner or friend seems to talk in circles and never get to the point and so it becomes easy to lay the blame on the other person. If we want to get to the level of being effective listeners, we must focus on being personally motivated to try to interpret or figure out what the other person is trying to communicate. How do you describe motivation? It's a growing level of maturity and responsibility combined with a real desire to communicate well with others. The second area to examine in discussing interpreting is empathy. Empathy is the desire and ability to see and attempt to feel how someone else is thinking, feeling, or what they might be trying to communicate. A friend of mine spent time analyzing cards sent to those who had lost a loved one. He found that sympathy was expressed by sentences that said things like, I'm sorry to hear of your loss. He identified empathy statements as those that expressed a desire to be of some personal help to the person. You might say empathy is going beyond words to action. Empathy is necessary to interpreting messages from others in the listening process simply because other people do not always communicate clearly. We falsely expect people to say things to us that are exactly the way that we would say them. We would all love it if people just came out and exa said exactly what they mean literally, but they don't. This means that you and I, if we're going to be effective listeners, must learn to put ourselves in the other person's shoes and figure out what they are really saying. Empathy is being able to listen to the other person's words and then attempt to view the situation from that person's perspective. The third area to examine in discussing interpreting is nonverbal messages. Nonverbal messages can either complement a verbal message, substitute for a verbal message, or contradict that message. A nonverbal message can be a facial expression, eye contact or lack of it, nervous twitch twitches, nodding, or body movement, as well as a long list of other things. People are constantly sending out nonverbal messages in the middle of conversations. If we're only focusing on the literal words and their literal meanings, we are missing important messages. We might be visiting with a person and we notice they are nodding in agreement and interest as we talk, but we also notice they appear somewhat anxious and can't keep the rest of their body quiet. We should be trying to interpret whether or not they are sending contradictory nonverbal messages. As you can see, 
The task of interpreting messages is a complex and challenging skill. It can be learned and improved upon. We become so caught up in listening to the words people say when we should be trying to listen to how they are feeling and trying to figure out how they are viewing the situation. We sometimes listen to the wrong things. For example, our partner might tell us that we are following too close to the car in front of us on the highway. We get defensive because we focus on the literal words. We know we are X number of car lengths back and view it as an attack on our ability to drive. Interpreting focuses on looking at listening through the lenses of being motivated to listen, listening with real empathy, and trying to understand nonverbal messages. Listening is always more than just hearing words and then reacting. Listening is about building more productive relationships. Listening is what will make your marriage better, your work relationships better, your friendships better. Learn to interpret. See you in the next video.